three. So today I need to prep my husband's work lunches slash dinners. I usually pack him a lunch and a dinner in his lunchbox. Self-explanatory. But I thought I would bring you along and show you what I pack him if you need some ideas or just are bored and want to watch someone play with food. So. so I figured the best way to kind of do this was go to the fridge, go to the pantry, get everything I need, lay it all out. I'll show you everything that I got out, kind of tell you what I'm planning on making, and then we can do like a montage of everything that we put together and go from there. We'll try it and see if we like this style. If not, we can try and do it a different way the next time that I film one of these because I make his lunch every week. So I'm sure that there will be more for those of you who need lunch ideas because Pinterest just cannot give us enough options sometimes. All right, I got all of our ingredients out. You know, this looks like a lot, but two meals a day, it is a lot. He's a grown man, he eats a lot. So we've got turkey and chicken, provolone cheese, whatever bread. I usually get some like wider pan, like deli style bread, cause I think it makes a better sandwich for him. Uh, we've got spicy mustard, barbecue sauce, ranch, some pasta salad, two different options for chips. I kind of alternate the two so he doesn't have the same exact thing every single day. And then I've got these energy bars. It, it's like a cheaper Cliff Bar. I get these at Aldi. I think they're delicious. They taste like cookie dough, but they're not super bad for you like cookie dough is. So for me, that's a win. I've got a chicken breast that I just cooked in the oven in a cast iron earlier today. I got romaine lettuce, cheese, black beans and corn, and I'm gonna make a like Southwest salad for him. So I'm gonna start getting all this stuff prepped and we'll start putting that together some lunches. I guess I should probably mention these are the containers that I use. So I put his sandwich and his chips in these containers. I just got these at our grocery store. They came in like a pack of 10 for a few dollars. They are super inexpensive. You can find them pretty much anywhere. And then I did order these little salad dressing cups. So his salad dressing or dips or whatever can be separate. And then I've got these out for the salads. And I don't have a bunch of small um, containers for his pasta salad. So I might just throw some in this one and then he has one with him today. So when he brings that home, I'll wash it and then just make him up some pasta salad for tomorrow. So I thought I would go over containers and show you what I'm kind of working with here. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get everything prepped, like cut and wash the lettuce, drain and rinse the black beans and corn. And I think that's all I have to do for prep work. So let me get that done really quick and then I'll meet you back here. and these are all the things that you're gonna need. Just some cheese, corn and black beans, drained and rinsed, some romaine lettuce or spinach, whatever kind of lettuce you wanna use, cut and rinsed. Make sure you rinse it really good. Romaine lettuce is disgusting. And then some chopped up chicken. And then for the dressing, I'm just gonna mix ranch and a little bit of barbecue sauce to make it more of a fancy ranch. We put together our first salad, so I mean, it's not that hard. It's just a salad, guys. My hands are clean for those German folks who are freaking out because I just stuck my hand in the cheese bag. Some corn and black beans. Chicken on here. 
Oh, you know what? I did forget one thing that you need. Let me grab it. I mean, optional. You don't have to use it. I just like to throw a few great tomatoes on there for him. And then there is our salad. I'm trying not to dump it on the floor, but there you are. You, you get the gist. It's a salad. And then for the dressing, literally just gonna do some barbecue sauce, some light ranch. That's what he likes. I prefer regular ranch. He likes like that. I mean, just a little bit of barbecue sauce. Like, you can't really tell how much I put in there, but not very much at all. And here is our finished salad. So, like I said, not hard, guys. And then there's the dressing, so you can kind of see. There's really not that much barbecue sauce in it, but just enough to kind of make it a little fancier. Okay, so I got all that stuff put away. The next thing we're gonna make is his sandwiches. So I do usually like turkey and ham, but the store didn't have any ham, so we we're doing turkey and chicken. It's just a simplified club sandwich, really. So we've got our bread, our meat, provolone cheese, spicy mustard, and romaine lettuce. And that's all we're gonna put on them, but it does make a delicious sandwich. Okay, and here are our four lunches. So we've got our sandwich, our salad, chips, pasta salad in this one. But like I said, I don't have a bunch of these containers. So when he brings this back, I'll just wash it and then throw more pasta salad in it. And then his dressing, energy bar, and then I'll put a shaker cup with some uh, Kool-Aid in it for him. So that's gonna be it for this week's like lunch and dinner meal prep for Anthony. Um, if you guys try any of these out, let me know and let me know if you like them. But like I said, it's pretty basic. There's nothing crazy going on here. Next time I'll try and like come up with something a little fancier than just a sandwich and a salad. But sometimes you just gotta live real life, right? So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this gives you some inspo. If you do try these, please let me know and I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye guys.